Yeah, it's actually here. Oh, hi everyone. Oh, it's awesome to see so many people here. Um, so anyway, I work at OF, and we're, a, if you don't know us, a big multidisciplinary consultancy. We're all around the world in all kinds of disciplines. So I mostly work with uh, infrastructure. So I'm going to talk to you a bit about how we've used Unreal and what that has helped us achieve. Um, and more specifically for one uh, particular project. So the Isling project is the first part of Sweden's planned high-speed railway network. Uh, and it goes from Stockholm, just outside of Stockholm, to Linköping. Um, and for this project, we have created um, a real-time model of the entire area that will be shown to the public. Um, and we're also doing design work together with our partners, uh, Tyrians, for one quarter of the stretch. Um, and to help us do that, uh, we have created some applications, um, or models as we call them. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about three different applications today. First, the, uh, the presentation model, um, which is the one you see a screenshot from here. Uh, so that's um, yeah, the public facing one that has all the pretty details. Uh, and then we have the coordination model, which we use internally, in pretty much in place of our like, coordination CAD software uh, to communicate this to our design team. And then uh, at the end, some work we've been doing on a, a road, collaborative road design tool in VR. So let's get into it. So here's a video clip from the presentation model. So this one has about 1,900 square kilometers of Sweden in, in high detail, plus additional many thousands of square kilometers as like background, where we have a, a shader that act, approximates the curvature of the Earth far away, just to give you that immersion. Um, so we're using the world composition and level streaming features in Unreal. So we have 300 different levels streaming in and out, uh, which is what makes this actually run in real time. Uh, so this will be uh, shown as a real time model to the public at open houses starting in August. And the, um, the movies these clips are coming from will be public next week. So you are actually the first group of people outside the company to see this, which is really cool. We had to get special like, approval from the client to be able to show any of this because it's been really tightly locked down for, for years now. So these movies um, we created together with a uh, communications agency uh, and they don't have any unreal knowledge. So uh, what we've done to help them is we have in the the package build, we have created a little like video editing tool or a simple tool that lets you create like keyframes uh, in sequences that you can export to a text file. Uh, you can see the little tool on the left here. So we just send it to them and they do the first draft of their shots and they export it. They send the file to us. We import it into Sequencer and then we refine the clips from there and create the little rabbit hopping around. And those things. Uh, and also here is the, the user interface that will be shown uh, when the, uh, this will be shown to the public. So we will have like workstations set up. You can have just grab a gamepad and navigate around to where you, you, you live and see how, how you're affected like by this project because since it's, it's such a long project, there's like hundreds and thousands of people living along the stretch. So and for our internal work. This is a screenshot from the, the coordination app that we use internally. So this doesn't have any of the graphical detail, but it instead has the, uh, a lot of features we have in the CAD software. So you can see it has the layer management. You can turn on and off different layers, same as in CAD. It has the BIM information. You can click on objects and see exactly what they are, get descriptions. We have a profile down at the bottom that is updated in real time and synced to where you are in the, so you can see the, where you are along the line and where you are in height. Uh, and it's synced to the 3D view, so when you move around, it moves around. Uh, and we have um, GIS data, we have archaeology, we have mapping data, we have um, environment data, uh, land use information. Uh, yeah, so this really it helps us. 
And this is delivered to the project team uh, to a cloud service using pixel streaming. So this is embedded on the project's SharePoint page. So the 400 people in the design team, they can go in uh, and every week the model is updated. They don't have to download anything, they don't have to install anything, and it's very easy to navigate compared to the CAD software. Uh, so this is being used roughly around 1,000 hours per month in the project. Uh, and a lot of that time is time that it saves us, our, us BIM guys, the model coordinators, from, from packaging and sending files and presenting the model to people. So all this has been amazing. And uh, from this, we've spun off an experimental like road uh, design tool. So this is a, a collaborative multiplayer or multi-user VR road design tool. Um, which is intended for early use, first stages of a project, uh, when you just have like the area and you, we want to do, let's say, a road from A to B. Uh, so you can jump in several people in the same environment and, and collaborate over voice chat, which is built in. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see the profile on the wall there, you can drag up and down. Uh, there should be another user joining this in a minute. Yeah, there we go. So you can see each other. Um, and the navigation is actually in reverse. So what you see, you think you're scaling the model, but you're actually scaling yourself. So it's sort of an <laughs> optical illusion there. And so when you are happy with the design here, uh, this actually exports to a land XML file format, which is an industry, strand, industry standard for alignment data that you can import into your road design software, such as Autodesk like Civil 3D or Bentley Open Roads Designer or, uh, yeah, whatever you use. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do some more testing on this. We haven't tested this. this we have just tested this on our local network. I uh, have not tested this over the internet yet, hoping to do so soon. Um, yeah, and I mean, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to jump to the thank you slide. Uh, if you want anything, you can reach me at this email or just grab me or my colleague Samuel, who's also here somewhere. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you.